guys, this is Ron Moore, and I want to reflect upon my time in Mexico when I lived there in 2021. For those of you who have followed me long enough, you remember when I lived in Mexico in 2021, I still I, I created a goal, and that goal was to get monetized on YouTube, knowing that I wouldn't make a living doing it, but I still wanted to make a little bit of a side hustle doing what I love doing. And so about three years later, I'm still doing that today. And at the time, my streaming and content was kind of, uh, I don't want to say controversial, but it was kind of frowned upon, meaning I was doing a lot of these CPU versus CPU streams and my internet connection was very bad in Mexico. So I could not really record a video that would last about eight hours or so to upload as a premiere so that we can watch the CPU go at it in games because it would take so long to upload a video that's about eight hours. It would take so long. I mean, the internet connection was bad. I, I was surprised I was able to stream, period. A lot of times my streaming was terrible for those that remember because of this this the connection we had that that was the best we could get at the time and sometimes my streams would buffer pretty often and sometimes also we would have rolling blackouts i'd be streaming and the computer the the electricity goes out and there goes my stream my last stream i did in mexico was ninja turtles 3 the manhattan project and that was a two-parter because the power went out so yeah, it was not, that part was not fun, but what was fun was me doing those streams, grinding for monetization, and it was kind of frowned upon how I did it. I didn't break the terms of service or do anything wrong, but I was, I did kind of take a shortcut, and that shortcut was, because I can't, I don't have... I did not have the free time or whatever to stream eight hours a day, five days a week. Well, I did, but I didn't. So a lot of the CPU streams you saw that were hours and hours on end, maybe like eight or 12 hours or longer going on as I was going to sleep was a pre-recorded content, a video that recorded on my computer, then put it in OBS and it was treated as a stream. I let people know this is pre-recorded. I was live like... I could still be in the chat room. Hey guys, how's it going? Or I might go to sleep, wake up, check the phone, see if there's any chat activity. Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to check on the stream. All right, I'm going back to sleep at night. <laughs> so that's, I did that a lot back in when I was in Mexico. And it was, it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun to do that. But I just lost interest in doing that. And I mainly did it to grind for monetization and it worked. Some of you people stayed in the chat room and helped the watch time hours go up. And up and and I did that for about six months and then I got monetized and some people consider that a shortcut and yeah it kind of was but at the same time it's not really I wouldn't say it's immoral because I let people know for sure what I was doing I wasn't trying to trick people make them think I was actually live playing the game but no you're actually looking at pre-recorded content that I recorded on my computer and then went live with it while well, the video would loop if necessary for not long enough because I just uh could not do it. It took me too long to upload a video to do that. I mean, I remember trying to upload what was it, an eight hour video or longer one time. Eight hour video it would take about 24 hours for it to finish uploading. That's how bad my connection was. Again, it was a miracle that I could stream at all. And you go back and you watch my streams in Mexico, you could tell the quality was bad. And yeah, there was some good times, good streams in Mexico, whether I was actually live, live or not. And it was fun to do those CPU versus CPU streams, whether it be fighting games, wrestling, whatever it was, or a lot of my Raw More Rewind videos or SA2K Rewind videos where past content and I'll upload onto, or I would put it into OBS and play it during a live stream. That stuff was fun to do. It really was. And just to chill and, and chat with you guys. And, but some of those streams, they were fun to do in Mexico, even though they were kind of frowned upon. Some people didn't like it that I was doing CPU versus CPU streams. They'd rather see me play the game, which I get it. But at the same time, everybody has a different style. 
some people love to do CPU versus CPU streams. And I got mixed feedback from that, but I enjoyed it overall. It was not for nothing. That hard work of grinding for six months for monetization, it was great. And when I finally reached that goal, it was worth it. It was worth it. And it's benefits that I still enjoy today. I don't make too much money from this because I have a real job and I don't make real money streaming or YouTube content creation, but it's still good that I can still get channel memberships, super chat donations, and ad revenue from time to time. And every once in a while, once in a blue moon, I get a Google paycheck. So it was fun times. I really enjoyed doing that. And for those of you who have been around long enough, you remember exactly what I'm talking about. Mexico said he enjoyed some of those streams. I think Rashida Blade Warrior did. Um, some people not so much. Um, and that's fine. They didn't enjoy it. I just had a few people that might come in and kind of talk trash and be like, oh, well, I'm out of here. This sucks. Or, you know, uh, what you're doing is not a good look. And uh, which I get, you know, feedback is fine. But when you come in and kind of be just, especially for someone that's like a moderator, and you come in my stream and say that, like kind of coming off disrespectful, it's like they could have been said in private, you know, like tell me in private, hey, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you should do these streams because it's not a good look or whatever. Or some people just kind of being douchey about it, maybe trolling. One person even told me in a WhatsApp message how it was not a good look for me to do CPU versus CPU. You might want to play the game. And I told them why I was doing what I was doing. And his response was, hey, do whatever makes you happy. Do whatever you know, have fun doing however you want to do it. But then that same person later on comes back into another one of those CPU streams and says, oh, this stream isn't very ECW. I'm like, we already been through this. I thought you encouraged me to have fun. Now you're trying to discourage me, like make up your mind. So it's fine. It's fine if you don't like seeing that stuff. Like Mega Dan does not like seeing people cheat in streams. Like when I cheat against single player, not online player, but single player, I'm upfront about it. But Dan does not like to watch those things. And that's fine. But at least Dan doesn't come to the stream and say, man, why don't you stop cheating and play for real? Well, this sucks. Like, he, he just leaves if he doesn't like it. And that's how it should be. Um, it's okay to say, um, you know, I, oh, man, you're cheating. I'd rather for you to play this legit. You know, like, give honest, constructive criticism. And I get that part. But we all stream differently. Some people do a lot of CPU streams. Some do some cheat streams. Some do legit runs. So I do a mixture of everything. All of that stuff. All of that stuff. I try to please myself and my audience at the same time. But you can't please everybody. But those streams I did in Mexico were fun. For those of you who were part of that, thank you for helping me reach, reach the goal of monetization. Thank you for hanging out and making that fun. It was fun to do. And every once in a blue moon... Now that I'm back here in the States and I have where I live, I have better connection. I want to, <coughs> excuse me, I want to do a stream. Well, not a stream. Uh, every once in a while, I still want to do premieres where it's nothing but CPU versus CPU action. No commentary, just straight up raw footage, CPU versus CPU action. And you might see some of those premieres in the near future, me doing those off and on. Because I enjoy doing that and making it as a premiere and chatting with you guys as we watch some awesome fights, wrestling matches, sports games, whatever it may be. All right, so that is all I have to say. I am out of here. Thank you very much for listening. And I just wanted to reminisce a little bit about my time in Mexico live streaming. It was pretty fun. All right, have a good one. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.